Hey Virgos, I'm back y'all with another video. So, it's a general. Whatever pops out, pops out. If it resonates, good. Y'all could switch the energies. This could be you or someone that you are dealing with. Alright, so give me a message for the Virgo, please. We got third party, and at the bottom of the deck, we have deception. So you could be dealing with a third party situation. Somebody's doing this because of their pride and their ego. They got ego issues. Um, they do know that they have free will. They have the free will to reinvent themselves if they want to. But this person, damn it. This person could have a family with this third party. This person could have a child with this third party. I just saw karmic relationship and family. What else? Dang, I hate when the readings start out like that. We got communication in the fifth dimension here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody's telepathically communicating tell me more oh okay somebody's root see i told you that this karmic partner that they're dealing with we got karmic partner They're regretting something that they said either to this karmic partner or about this karmic partner. Okay, now this karmic partner is afraid, okay? They're afraid. We got fear, okay? So... They're in fear. Maybe you said something to this karm to this karmic, and now they're scared. Okay, so it looks like some of y'all already know about this third party. Y'all are aware that there's a third party. Now you're at a crossroad. Oh no, we got shadow work. Some of y'all doing spell work. Some of y'all doing spell work to get this person to return or to refocus their energy. You want them to mirror your energy. You want this, you want what you have with them to ascend and grow. Spell work could definitely be involved. Tell me about crossroads here. Oof, okay. Yeah, we got balance in the scales, okay? So, yeah. We got self-worth, fall, and divine masculine. Some of you could have got some work done on this person or the karmic has done some work, some spell work on this masculine to kind of balance out the scales, okay? Either way, I'm, it's, it's like...
Your divine masculine could be at a crossroads. It's something about shifting this masculine's focus, okay? It's something about shifting this masculine's focus. It caused this person to have a wake-up call. It caused masculine to have a wake-up call. We got destruction and received. And see, we got shadow work here and barrier. Now, mind you now, shadow is when you're kind of working in the dark. Okay, and then we got bar barrier. Now, this is when you're trying to close something in, not allowing, you know, things to get out or in. Okay. I feel like some spell work could be involved. Somebody could be putting spell work on this masculine. It could be you or the third party. But this karmic is living in fear. They're regretting something that they said. They said something. They all over here in their head. They they scared. They're nervous. Okay. They're nervous as hell. We got grief. Unawakened and abandoned. So it looks like somebody is saying, look, you don't even realize that this masculine is about to abandon you. He ain't going to be there for long. I see something here about focus shifting this masculine's focus because it looks like they were involved with the third party. The karmic that like they were dealing with, they could either have children from or they was over there playing like the family role. Now the karmic is scared. The karmic is over there living in fear. Yeah, this person is saying masculine is now saying that they're purging from this from this third party. That they learned they listen. They now understand their wrongs. Now we got understanding and deception. They understand how they wrong their divine feminine. Divine divine feminine. And now they want a fresh start. They're willing to compromise. They're devoting themselves to you. They recognize how cold they've been. And wow. They saw how it destroyed you guys' connection. So they coming in a new direction. And they releasing this karmic. They released the karmic. And now their focus is over here. This divine masculine focus is here with you. Now you got this karmic shook up. This karmic over here shook up. Because she's trying to figure out, like, how? He just abandoned. He just abandoned me. So the karmic got abandoned. And now the focus is where it should be with the divine feminine. And that's on that. Whether spell work was involved or not, for some, yes. Not all. Not all. Tell me more about the situation with Virgo. Yeah, this person... This person, your masculine, they regret what they did. 
they had they had to stop themselves in their tracks because I think they had some type of little toxic little some toxic little pattern could be they could have been attached to this person could have been sexually um and they said that they know that they got to slow down cuz it's not it's not uh benefiting them for them to stick around over there um I see some spying on the internet going on seeing if this person's behavior has changed here so you could be standing in your empress energy you the divine feminine it's because yeah you and your divine feminine energy solely you could be married to this person um or this person like you want them to take more responsibility and don't just walk away when they you know feel some type of way um I definitely see effort being put in. You knew this person was going to regret it when they did what they did. So you were just waiting. You was just waiting on them. Waiting on it to end. The challenge was getting this person to tell you the truth. They could have told you that this person offers them money all the time. Ask them, do they need anything? And they come through every time. Um, so this person could have been, you know, this connection could have been solely either a sexual connection or, you know, something just, uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely seeing them being tied into with this person. But definitely didn't have a problem dropping them with the Ten of Wands. <laughs> yeah you wanted to know you wanted to know the truth okay you weren't afraid to get the truth um oh the four of swords and the ten of swords oh goodness mm, yeah I, I don't like that energy um a lot of confusion in the past about um, someone Ooh. <laughs> okay um, there is a lot of confusion going on in the past a lot of arguments, disagreements somebody you know, maybe the money was coming up short like there was just an imbalance, for sure, for sure, in the past. But I feel like you have grown mentally. Your mind is in a stronger place. Um, and I see that this burden, yeah, oh, real burden. Some nine of swords and ten of wands. Um, yeah. You see... This person has dropped this situation. They're not looking at it as like it's a burden. <clears throat> For some of you, this could be a baby mother, baby father, or a husband, wife. Um, but I got divine masculine and divine feminine in this energy. Like, whenever you call on this person, this person is coming. Um, it's like, yeah, it may sound, 
it made the, the energy of this person shifted. Um, I also see too that when dealing with, I don't even really see the only challenge, the only part that I see where there is could be a third party. I feel like in the challenge, like they had some type of attachment to this person. They realize now that it's draining them. The person that they're dealing with could have been a Leo or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a Virgo. But I'm seeing someone calling somebody, reaching out to somebody and somebody hurrying up and leaving. That's that's what the outcome is. Yep, I'm I'm seeing like somebody fixing something that was broken. A household, a unit, a marriage. I'm seeing that uh spirit stepped in. Spirit stepped in with that tower. And now everything is beautiful. Everything is how it should be. Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. This is a very beautiful read. This is a very beautiful read. I see that third party at the bottom of the deck. See, this is third party energy right here. Now this person felt like they could come in and kind of, you know, stick your person, get him um, to sneak off, um, and force him into a relationship. Um, because it's like she, this person keeps coming around. Um, but I'm getting like the person, the divine masculine could be married or you've been with this person for a long time. Um, this your person doesn't think that there's any feelings there. There's no feelings there anymore. Their focus is on what's in front of them, the divine family. Okay, so that's the read that I got for you guys. If this resonated, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm gonna chat with y'all later. Ciao.